Hi, this is Vijay Kumar from Naris Technologies and in this session, so I am explaining about what is material ledger view. So, and what is the importance of creating material ledger view? So, then how this can be used in uh, database development? A material ledger view is a database object that stores query result or a pre computed result. So, material ledger view is a database object that stores query output or pre computed output result. So, this is the definition ok. Like uh, if you take view, a view stores query, but a material ledger view stores query result. What for material ledger views are created? So, material ledger views are created mainly for two reasons. One is to maintain a local copy for remote database object, to maintain local copy for a remote database object and that is one and the second one to improve the performance of complex group by complex uh, aggregate operations. Okay. In data warehousing, most of the queries in data warehouse performs complex group by complex aggregate operations and complex joins. To improve the performance of those queries, so material ledger views are most widely used in uh, data warehouses. Okay. So, mainly for two reasons. So, one, one in uh, databases, in databases to maintain a local copy for remote database object and the second one to improve the performance of complex group by joins operations in data warehouse. So, these are the two main reasons for creating what material ledger views. For example, I am executing a query. For example, there is a query like this. I am taking a simple query sum of cell as sum cell from EMP group by department number. So, this is one query. What is this query is calculating? This query is calculating department wise total salary. Suppose assume that the base table, this base table contains huge amount of data. The base table contains millions of records. So, the query is executed on table that contains millions of records obviously takes more time. The query is fired on table that contains huge amount of data millions of records obviously takes more time to run more time to complete and more time to give output. So, then I want to improve the performance of this query. So, I will do one thing first I will execute this query I will store this output in one object like what is this query returns for example, this query returns department wise total salary 10th department some total salary. 20th department total salary, 30th department total salary. This query returns department wise total salary. I do one thing. So, this query is actually taking more time to run. So, first I will execute this query and store this query output in one object. Let us say that object is MB1. Okay. In MB1, what I am storing is I am storing this query output. This query result is stored in MB1. Next time, so, whenever I want to calculate department wise total salary, I do not need to go to the table. So, next time whenever I want to calculate department wise total salary, I do not need to go to the table, simply I go to this MB1. So, in MB1 already the result is calculated, whatever the result you want, that, re that result is already there in MB1. So, what is MB1 contains a pre computed result result the user is looking for that result is already prepared and it is stored in MB1. So, instead of going to the table, so I will go to this MB1 and get the required data. So, what is this MB1 is called? This MB1 is called material ledger view. So, what is this material ledger view storing? This material ledger view storing, so the pre computer result, the query output. So, let us see how to create this material ledger view. This is the uh, purpose of creating material ledger view. Let us see how to create material ledger view. So, to create material ledger view, we need to follow this syntax. Create material ledger view. 
view name some name as so it's associated with select statement okay so this is a syntax for creating what a middle layer view so but when this command is submitted to oracle server what oracle will do oracle execute the query and store the query output in materialized view let's see for example create materialized view mv1 as select star from select what department wise some salaries i want from emp group by department member okay so i'm creating this so let's create this materialized view i'm creating this materialized view so if i try to create this materialized view what it is saying is insufficient privileges okay so let's see this so i executed this command so materialized view is created means suppose when you submit this command to create materialized view command to oracle server what it does first it execute the query the select query is executed and the select query output is stored in mv1 okay in case if it is view oracle stores query if it is a materialized view oracle stores query output the query output is stored in mv1 so next time whenever you want to calculate department wise total salary so after creating this materialized view so whenever you want to calculate department wise total salary no need to go to the table because it's already calculated and stored in materialized view now suppose i i want to see this now i am running this query select star from mv1 so when you say select star from mv1 so what it is showing is it is showing the department wise total salary but when you submit this query select star from mv1 is oracle do any group by no is oracle calculates any sum sal no because it's already calculated and stored in mv1 so without doing group by and without calculating sum sal so oracle is getting the output for you okay so this improves what performance so uh, like in if you go to data warehousing in data warehousing most of the queries performs this group by and uh, aggregate operations and also these operations are not on uh, tables that contains hundreds of records and the tables that contains uh, millions of records because in data warehouse the tables contains huge amount of data because in data warehouse table stores historical data so the queries performed the queries executed on tables definitely takes more time to run so materialized views are most widely used in data warehouse now okay fine but thing is in day to day operations the base table data changes in day to day operations the base table data changes some new records are added to the table existing records are deleted and existing uh, data is updated in uh, day to day operations uh, like base table data changes so we perform dml operations on base table so if base table data changes is uh, medular view changes no okay if the base table data changes is medular view changes no by default it's not then how so like okay if base table data changes then so we have to apply the changes to the materialized view if base table is modified so we need to modify this materialized view we need to update the materialized view so updating the materialized view is called refreshing materialized view okay so if base table data modified we need to update the materialized view updating the materialized view is called refreshing materialized view so how to refresh materialized view a materialized view can be refreshed in different ways one is on demand another one on commit next one another one periodically so materialized view can be refreshed in uh, different ways one is a refresh on demand another one refresh on commit and another one refresh periodically so let's see refresh on demand see this for example for example so now so materialized view is created now i do one thing 
I will go to the base table and update the base table. So, what I am doing is I am incrementing each and every employee salary by 1000. So, individual employee salaries are incremented by 1000. When individual employee salaries are incremented by 1000, department wise total salary also changes. So, I am updating, okay. Then let us execute this update command. So, it is updated. So, I updated 14 rows, the 14 rows are updated, all the 14 employee salaries are incremented by 1000. So, individual employee salaries are incremented by 1000, department wise total salaries also should update. Let us see whether material is updated or not, just run this query. Select star from, select star from MB1. Let us see this, is material is updated, see this. So, before executing this update command, 10th department is 8750, after executing the update command, still 10th department total salary is 8750. So, before update, 10th department is 8750. After executing update also in material review, 10th department total salary is 8750. That means the base table is modified. So, by default, is material review is refreshed? No, it is not refreshed. I want to refresh material review. To refresh material review, execute this command. To refresh material review, execute this command. So, what that command is? Execute dbms underscore mu dot refresh in brackets just give the materialized review name which materialized review you want to refresh just give that materialized review name. So, base table is modified I want to refresh materialized review to refresh materialized review execute this command. So, execute dbms underscore mu dot refresh materialized review name. Now, see this yet now you got the message PLSQL procedure successfully completed. So, it is actually dbms underscore mu is a package in the package refresh is a procedure and it is a, a predefined PLSQL procedure and so that is why it is saying a PLSQL procedure successfully completed. So, what this procedure has done? This procedure has updated uh, materialized review. So, it is refreshed the materialized review. Let us go and check. So, before refreshing the materialized review, 10th department total salary is 8750. Now, I refreshed the material review. Let us go and check what the 10th department total salary. Select star from MB1. Now, see this. Now, 10th department total salary is now 11750. Okay. 10th department total salary is 11750. Now, its uh, material is refreshed or not? Yes. Okay. Because I executed a procedure to refresh material review. So, material review is refreshed. So, this is what so, how to create a material review and how to refresh material review. Okay. So, thank you for watching this video. For more videos, subscribe to Naresh IT.